Hello, welcome to KTRV5 tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be sketching the elongated hole. So, go to start part design elongated hole. Make sure that the hybrid design uh, is not ticked. And then press OK. You're inside the 3D element now. Select the XY plane and then go on to the sketch button there's a little arrow over here go on to position sketch so this it's a funny thing Katia always i don't know recognize for this xy plane always recognizes a uh, horizontal axis is vertical and then vertical axis is horizontal this might be very useful during the later stages uh, when the design gets complicated so i'll just kick on to uh, swap you know to make the horizontal horizontal and vertical vertical so press ok <laughs> Now we are inside the sketching element and then now if we click on that little arrow over there we should find our elongated hole where there is like several types of rectangles and polygons. So click onto this elongated hole, one time left click you can move your mouse anywhere you like. So let's say we are going to move our mouse like this and then again you can move your mouse anywhere you like so again left click and then we get our elongated hole so we need to constrain this hole uh, in order to zoom out press the middle button and then keep holding the middle button press left button one time and then you can move your mouse so middle button left button one more time and then you can move your mouse up and down to zoom in and zoom out and then if you leave then the sketching element will remain over there to pan just click your middle mouse button and then move your mouse up and down so we need to constrain this uh, sketching elements first because we can move this uh, sketching elements anywhere we like at the moment it's not fixed so let's do that uh, constrain this element uh, uh, yeah with this element no we have over constrained our sketch a very good example um, of over sketch over constrained elements is that uh, the sketching element will turn purple because we have this dimension and then we have this dimension so we have over constrained our dimension so I will just click onto this one and then press delete so what I need to do is I actually need to figure out this distance now let's see where we can move we can always still move in this direction so with respect to the origin I will constrain it click onto this particular element and then the origin and then I want the linear distance so right click horizontal measure direction so we can still move up and down we should be able to move yeah we can still rotate this element and we can move it up and down as well so what I want to do is okay what I want to do is let's say I want to constrain click constrain and then click this element and then this axis <coughs> no sorry now we should we are still able to <coughs> rotate this element so what I'll do is I will create something called an axis so if you look over here this is the axis no sorry just click the axis no no what I need to, I need to unselect the element let's see. and then click axis and then select this and this line and then I'll constrain this rotation angle with respect to this axis over here and now my dimensions are constrained so let's say if I wanted a horizontal uh, a horizontal elongated hole so just click onto this angle and then press 0 so it will be horizontal so 90 degrees uh, 90 degrees yeah and then if I want it to be on the origin I can say 0 yeah 
and then to undo it it's just like in any other Microsoft Office documents control Z will undo everything will keep you out of the trouble control Z is your friend and then when you orient your sketching plane like this the best way to find it to normal is just click this one this button over here normal view and then should bring the view back to normal view and then now we are ready to uh, exit the workbench exit workbench and then again go and save management file save management save as elongated hole save and then press ok and you're done in the upcoming tutorials we'll be looking more into the other sketching elements thank you for watching this video Nine.